It's cheese. This thing right here. Yeah, it's che it's cheese. I don't know if your world is different than mine, but that is not cheese. Oh my god, have we just discovered something monumentous? Let me. What? You don't even have the pipes of the apples. No, no, it's 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 completely different. What? What the hell? What is happening? What is sun? What have they done with Sunbreak? <laughs> why are we? <laughs> Yours is so much. I was creepier. wondering why you were talking about your apple collection. I'm just like, that's a lot of straw hats and weird statue that you're trying to bring. Uh, we each have our own smuggling operation, is what I'm understanding. And yours is terrifying cat dolls. And hats. And hats. I just went for the classic cheese and pipes. Well, I just think that my things will sell for more per object, so I'll All probably right. manage more. It's on! Forget Pro and Noob versus Monsters. It's Pro and Noob in who can sell more illegal produce to this new land of people and their noble ways. Oh, yours is illegal? I got free licenses from my father. That's cheating! And you did say legal, not eagle, right? Uh, yes? <laughs> oh, yours is an eagle? Well, you know, I can sell whatever I want. Eagles included. I would buy an eagle. Damn it, I'm already losing! Chiche, buy my cheese! Uh, no, my name is Chiche, not Cheese Che. Would you like a pipe? That's probably your a child, actually. Um, I don't think you should offer that child a pipe. I should have gone with the apples! Yeah, you probably that was should have offered the apples. <laughs> that was the choice. Do you want my apples, JJ? I like apples, but not right now. Take this apple. Maybe you should go buy an apple from Cotton Stall. They seem much bigger. Why are you on his side? Look, I'm just, I'm just saying, people have been coming to my stall all day. My fruit is, like, genetically modified over here. Citadel! We're on the Citadel! This is where we are. We're, we're, we're on the Citadel. We're on the Citadel! Hark ye bastards to the behind us. Hark ye bastards. <laughs> Hark ye bastards. It's time to um, apologize for calling you that. <laughs> yes, I'm very, very sorry. We're Garen Gomes, you see. It's very difficult to process words. Only process sap. <laughs> oh my god! That's so brutal! What? I was there like... Wow, they actually have really pretty eyes. I was having that thought in my head internally. I didn't express it. Probably should have said it out loud. Otherwise, people won't know. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this Garango Mama. I really am. Also, I'm a big fan of this skill that just generates us a spirit bird for free every now and then randomly. Yeah, it's a cool little uh, cool little ability that we've Especially got. Especially combined to, like, with the birds. fact that we get enhanced spirit bird. Oh, look! Look at that! I just got... I think... That's so good! Because then you get all the benefits of Spirit Bird without, without having to collect them. And you get more and more benefits throughout the quest. So by the end of it, we might even just have full everything. Or even more than full everything. I don't think you can go past full. Welcome then to the ice area of the Citadel with an old cool. friend. Gossip! I am very, very excited for him to definitely grow a third sword out well, of his- Well, currently he's scratching his back against the wall. <laughs> so, wait a second, guys. I just gotta get before we start here. I'm very excited for him to grow a third sword out of his mouth. Ooh. Like, like lengthways or sideways? Like, you think it'll just, like, like replace his tongue and just stick out? <laughs> like zoro -y, but the idea of him coming straight out like a little stabby ice tongue sword that he could like blah, 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 blah. he looks very cool in this lighting also this lighting is very cool yeah it's, just, it's like a like a reddish pinkish type of just overhang over everything reddish pinkish overhang that's the name of my autobiography why do they call it an autobiography when you have to write is it you write yourself it because that, that's why, is you write, you, the autobiography is one that you write yourself. Yeah, Otherwise, it it's just happen automatically, biography. so. No, but that's not the, that's not the meaning of that word in that context. Says who? Says the dictionary? Damn you, dictionary! Lording it over us with your definitions and meanings! It was either Merriam, Webster, or Oxford, and I'm not exactly sure which one of those three people decided on. Th they're either a set of dwarves or three people that have walked into a bar for a joke. It could actually be both. I mean, it probably, they probably did walk into a bar for a joke and then correct every bit of grammatical inconsistency. <laughs> we're here to make sure you speak in right, and we're all out of... Speaking, I didn't say a second yeah, they, thing. They did, yeah, yeah that's not, that's, <laughs> that is not how a dictionary person would talk. Sorry, you can't stereotype dictionary people. I think I can stereotype people who write the dic- Ooh, that's new. People who write the dictionary as being good with words. Yeah, he did that when he, also, when he had his Matt hand slammed stabbed in. by bear flying through the air. Ooh, this is new. Oh, that's new too. Oh, that was the swing. Listen to the yeah. swing. 
That's I like so this. We're, cool. We're not even in double hand mode, and he's pulling out like multiple new things. It's rapid. Punishing. What? Oh, oh god. Punishing. <laughs> I really thought the punishment had already happened. No. I was uh, very much delaying the actual button press in order to get more damage from the rabbits. And everybody knows nothing quite damages like a rabbit's emotional state when its We're, wife leaves it. I didn't realize that you knew so much about Legambi's personal life. <laughs> I did. I'm aware of his poor situation. If he's willing to share these kinds of things with you, you probably shouldn't just be like uh, announcing them for the world to know. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just told thousands of people, Legambi. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I don't want to see you anymore. Look on by. Oh, here we go. Did he just get his ice blades without icing up? Well, that's actually a really good point. They just pulled out of nowhere, didn't they? Oh, I love that little that little thing. Instead of just getting his arm stuck, he does a slice out. He normally does have to do the ceremony, right? Where he, you know, he yeah. does the breath and then like sometimes. Then... Sometimes he will just randomly give himself the blades and then he does the breath, but he's just not doing it right now. And Bajatin's here. Oh, it's sorry, Orin Dotton. Oh. oh, there you ah, go. Ah. There you go. Enjoy your cones. Gimme! <laughs> Why did you do a Bishan voice for that? <laughs> that that's either the sound Bing. of the Bishan or the sound of the normal Bishan set on fire by Whoa. the fiery. Wow! I'm spinning! I know how to do combos on a monkey. Do I want to know? Do I want to know why you know how to do combos on a monkey? I spent a lot of time on monkeys. Okay, his 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 back X is just him going upwards and then just sitting there looking at things. It doesn't seem like the most effective attack. <laughs> oh, that does remind me, though. I've often wondered what what animal would make the best table. Uh, for table, I think it would probably be uh, Zora Magdaros. I mean, one, I like how you went with a fictional animal, and two, how I thought, well, completely playing, unfazed the, the, the you were. real to us. At the, he's real to us, good old Zara. How completely unfazed you were at the notion of, you know, I've been thinking, I wonder what animal would make the best table. Well, I mean, if we're talking real world animals, it gets a lot simpler because you just take a, a tortoise. Oh, yeah, no, but they, oh my god! There are flat shelled tortoises, if that's where you're going. There that is the pancake cool. tortoise, but that's only a little, little thing. You want, if you want a big table. Well, you can always just, like, genetically modify it to be big. I'm sorry. I'm genetically modifying pancake tortoises so I can have a living table that's big enough to suit at least three guests. I've decided that I'm going to put cow DNA into pancake turtles. Why? Why cow? Well, I could do, like, T-Rex DNA, but that would probably no, cause a couldn't. lot more issues. Like, I could do whatever I want. I'm also, genetically modifying here. Every single animal becomes immediately less threatening with a tortoise shell added to it. I thought you were gonna say if the first name of its the first part of its name is pancake. <laughs> I mean that's also true. Ah, it's a pancake shark. No, you just you can't. It's just you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? <laughs> you okay over there? Need a moment to collect yourself? I love Gossarag Ball. Oh fuck! Oh, that's cool. That is he's just so got, like, cool. It's just a bunch of like they're essentially just a bunch of sword play moves that he's adjusting, and I really like that. Oh, Gossy boy! Like they're all just like they're extensions of his normal movements in ways that can just make them do more damage without being oh! unreasonable. And I did really see, like that. Did you see that? Oh. That one's the one. That's a good one. He did a straight oh. stab down where like three quarters of the blade went into the ground straight in front of him. Through my hunter. He's gotten a significant amount of changes so far. All of the Master Rank Rise boys seem uh, very much enhanced. Well, we haven't done too many of them so far. And I he's definitely the most significant that I've noticed. But I also fought so much Gossarag that I would recognize any change to his moveset. We, you say that. We have almost certainly probably misidentified something old as new. I, I, like, I have legitimately hunted hundreds of this specific monster. You're setting yourself up here. I don't I care. I still so, so severely hope, Mr. Harag, you have a subspecies hiding around the place. I could totally believe that he does. And I really hope that he does. Oh, fuck. Getting hit by that. Ooh. Oh yeah, he just he makes them so quickly yeah, just too. Instant. Like, it's not even that he makes them instantly. He makes just, them in the same instance that he's charging forward to attack you. Yeah, with it, them. it is the attack. Like he decides yeah. he's gonna do a blade attack and then he has blades. That's the thing, is like before it was like the implication that he used the breath that came from his mouth to make the blades on his arms. Now it's just like, okay, I can make ice appear. Oh. 
Oh! I love that follow up. That yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I that's earlier. new. Like he actually does an attack to take the blade out the ground as opposed yeah, to just giving you thing. an. Oh! It supplements an attack that already existed because he already got his blades caught in the ground before. Now it's just followed by an attack. See, that's the thing. There's not. They've not just gone like the master rank route of we've added an attack and it's a cool attack. There we go. They've like added yeah. mix ups and extended attacks and. Yeah. That oh was the first God. new thing that I noticed him doing, and I was like, that is a really cool little change, because it's like, it's not quite subtle, but it's like, it's not as, like, significant as being like, here's a super move, that is all. This zone is gorgeous, by the way. Yeah, big old ice cave. There's a waterfall in the background. What's, is this a fishing hole? Oh yeah, what? it is. Why are you so excited by that? New stuff for the market. Wow, you really are excited about that. You just raised your attack. Oh, me, me too. My God. It's a really good moment for us. What am I gonna get? What's my new fish? Oh yeah, that's a sushi fish. That's not new. There's just some legombi fur on the floor in here. I wonder what Goss has been doing. Yeah, I think Goss has been uh... <laughs> Turns out he doesn't actually have his own hair. He's just wearing a legombi pelt on his back. That would be such a twist. Turns out he's the Valhazak of, of this game. <laughs> I'm still sad, by the way, that we never really worked out the exact creature Valhazak's, like, overcoat came from. Like, I guess you could just argue it's an amalgamation of yeah, skin of just whatever the generic, hell you find. Yeah, generic skin. But I love when it's like, when you see Hermitar and it's like, he's got a monoblo shell, and it's like Ooh. a direct link to another monster. Like, I love those little things. Yeah, yeah that's always awesome. Like Nersilla and Gypsaros. Yeah. Are you ready to die, Gosarag? Yes, I, yes, he is. <laughs> also, I, I, I'd like to point out, I have a sonic barrier now again, and I'm using it at the right moments instead of the ones that kill you. So yay! We'll 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 put a pin in that. We will we'll put a big pin I mean, in that. God. We'll, we'll, I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, it almost felt like you had earplugs that whole hunt, didn't it? Almost. <laughs> Almost. I think that's just the cat. It's totally the cat. It's definitely not the sonic barrier. Critical draw, full agitator, full quick sheaf, full resentment, full punishing draw. He is he is big draw man. That makes sense. That's how he was. I mean before. His, his high rank was big draw man, but now he yeah. really is big draw. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah, that's great. That's such a genuinely cool armor set. It's just like it's like Commander Goss as opposed to the previous one. Oh, that's so cool! Too bad we just farmed an entire armor set. <laughs> Bring on the hard stuff! Ain't nothing I can't forge. Okay, no one was talking to you, Smithy lady. I what? St stop! Just what? What well, are you, you were, doing you in were, the background? You were talking. Here. You, were, you were talking in front of me, so you know. I wanted to be part of the conversation. I guess. I guess that is actually. I guess that is actually fair enough, isn't it? That's... A little weird to just have a conversation two feet from someone and then get upset with them for for joining. <laughs> Why does this feel like a big? No, 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 no. Because you know, you know, you want to come buy some stuff. Yeah, of course you can. If oh, you, you got a customer. Like, of course I do. What I, would you like what? to buy? What? Okay, go have a look without talking to me. Then we'll talk about it afterwards. <laughs> that'll be that'll be that'll be uh, seven thousand zenny. What did he buy? Uh, a mutated turnip. Why is it mutated? Well, if you come look at it, you'll see. Is it also pot Maybe. cow? I mean, I've, I've got all of this extra cow DNA. I had to put it somewhere. God, imagine if the part of the last hunt where we talked about cow DNA and combining it with other things happened to not be included. This bit right here would look insane. Yeah, that seems like a thing that would happen a lot. It does sound like a thing that's entirely possible that would happen. Well, he is big. Uh, I'm not there yet. I don't even know who we're fighting. And I swear he didn't used to come to this zone. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen him on this map in my knowledge. Yeah, he's been on this map, right? I don't remember him being here, at least. No? He, I mean, he definitely doesn't have a quest here. I definitely he don't remember him here, being on, in this zone, so you might be right. Like, there's no, like, there's one zone, like, one or two zones on this map that have mud capabilities, and it's definitely not this one. Huh. He's so big! This is a very big one, yeah. I agree oh with my that. Oh god. So well. I mean, he's always a pretty big Al monster. Madron. I quite like Master Rank Almadron so far. He's not done anything special, but I just like Almadron. But Elmadron. it's just Almadron, so I mean, I'm pretty chuffed. I mean, I consider him to be an extremely fun hunting horn monster. He just has a lot of stuff that works specifically well with how... Ooh. He's making he's making platforms already, and it wasn't part of his big move. Yeah, he always used to do that. Yeah, but he's making lots, and very quickly. Oh, his mud has gold in it without him being... No, he is enraged. He is enraged. Look at us trying to find new things that aren't new. It's, it's just... It's Arch-Tempered Syndrome every single time. It really time. is. 
Well, especially because we, like we just fought Gosarag, who I'm certain had like four different things that we did that we did notice, and I know they were yeah, different. This is why Everything else I know less I, though. I think at least probably half of them were actually new. You know, I'm I'm confident in my in my assertions about Goss. Every other monster I could be completely wrong about. That's the one that I know I have fought enough that I that I could not be mistaken. I, like I really hope we didn't <laughs> that doesn't come back to haunt you. It won't. I'm certain. Like this isn't a ninety percent certain. This is a I I know Gossarag. There's the ball. Oh my god! He's that's having new. a ball. He's got a the, ball, the ball now. Wow! He never used to have that before. No, he did, and that's crazy. I can't believe that they added this whole thing that's probably going to be a massive part of his moveset. I bet he'll do like a slam dunk with it at one point. That'd be cool. Ah, uh, that would do so much damage. Surely not. It would. See, he's dropped well, it. We now. could also just break the ball, and, and then then he can't do anything. You know what I wish they did with him? And it would be like completely over the top. But I wish if you knocked the ball out of his tail, it didn't just like disintegrate and disappear. It just like fell on the floor, and you could like interact with it as like a, just an object. <laughs> just kick it around the place. Yeah, I want to literally kick the ball into his face like a mud beetle and apply water debuff. <laughs> oh, bye. Look, okay, they've completely admitted that it's not a, it's not really mud at this point. He just swims through the through the earth. He swims through the life itself. It's mud because he creates mud. That's the point of the gold. He melts and goops up yeah, but what like, was what was before like dry hard terrain into muddy terrain for him to then use. But you can't just melt ground into mud. That's not what mud is. Well, tell that to Almadron. Okay. And his new friend pet Raffian. His new pet his new pet Raffian. Okay, I, was, I thought it was weird that his new friend Rathian was named Pet. That's a, that's a new one. <laughs> oh, but it's less weird that he's got a pet Rathian. Well, yeah, because he's clearly significantly higher tier than her. I love Almadron, but I find him such a pain in the ass to land hits against. Which is See, weird I given just, how big he is. Yeah, that's that's what I mean when I say that I really like Hunting Horn against him. Is The angles of Hunting Horn attacks just are really nice for the shape of his body and the ways that he sits. Like, I, I find that I have an easier time hitting him with Hunting Horn than any other weapon that I play. Set him on fire! Thank you. You're welcome. That was all and me. And punish him! For, for being on fire! How dare you be on fire in my presence! You're lighting my presence on fire! Those are for me! <laughs> I wanted to have! Is he, is he okay? I think I... he was falling asleep there while he was being punished. Yeah. <laughs> that have been very good punishment. <laughs> Oh, oh, why do you call this punishment, Rathian? Oh. Oh. oh, this is a little boring. Now I'm poisoned. I don't even know how this happened. <laughs> it was the toad, Almadron. It was. It was the toad. Oh, God! Do you remember your first Almadron? I do. He was so lovely and crazy. Like he is one of the most crazy-looking creatures that they've added in a very long time. Yeah, that's true. He's got a lot to him. You know, a lot of bits. Well, he's like, I look at him, and I see a snake wyvern they put legs on. Like, that's how he looks to me. Like, he doesn't look regular leviathan -y. He looks like a snake wyvern with legs. I'll be real with you. More than anything, I, the new stuff that I've noticed is he just has a lot more... Like, his his regular attacks seem to spit out a lot more mud and a lot more gold mud. Yeah, like, I don't know if he's more gold mud. Like, I don't know if he's, like, necessarily gotten new stuff so much as they have just added a lot of mud to his other attacks that didn't have as much. Oh, Almadron, you're such a pain in the ass! Oh gosh, he's a pain in the head for I me. I think That's as time has gone me. on, it's become very clear to me that it's Goss, then Rachna, then Almondron. That yeah, was that's, new. That, that's that, was new. that's oh, new. Yeah, that, that was new. That was new. Cool. Yeah. That was yeah, new. He was like, like geyser vent up yeah. of, uh, of mud next to his tail slam. Yeah, that was different. We did it. We did it. All right. We, 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 we found something. Again. We did it. <laughs> but yeah. And he's gone. Goss, Rachna, Almondron. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. That's the train I've always been on. <laughs> Good to see you finally joined me. But I've literally I have lists that have been made and produced. I thought Rachna was battling Goss for first for the longest it was, time. But Goss was on the list that I made a while back as as the winner of those three. Uh, but we we saw Pyro Pyrantula. Ooh, well, yeah. Know. I mean, I'm extremely excited to see what that leads into if it leads into something because it might not. Imagine but you know. if that's a tease. I like, mean, it's just we, got, oh, we like, just thought new Rachnoids would be cool. Look, base rides had Zamites and no Zamtrio, so I'm, I have no expectations. And a Rocktar and no Ignactar, and Basarios and no Gravios. Yeah. See, I feel like I I can understand a lack of, of Ignactor more just because of the other, like, Leviathan things that we haven't gotten. I feel like Ignactor is on the same train of, like, he probably would be similarly very difficult to implement because of his body. But, like, Zamtrios is essentially it's a Tranodon. 
in in most situations, physically speaking. Like the ball mode of Zamtrios is very similar to the the expanded belly mode of of, of Tetranodon. So I can see such that a bee in your bonnet over Zamtrios. <laughs> no, that's the main thing. It's like the second you put a small monster in that has a large monster equivalent, the expectation is it's going to be especially because Zamites are literally the baby version of Zamtrios. Yeah, it's so not it even like no it's like, like it, it, I mean Zamites are Zamtrios. Like they're, yeah, they're, like they're just a... young Zamtrios. <laughs> Like, it makes no sense for, like, are you saying that the hunters just keep them in check so that none of them yeah, ever become Yeah, we never let them grow up. But then again, if they never grow up, how how are they reproducing if they never reach maturity? Maybe Zamites have the have adapted the ability to reproduce at a young age just to make up for it. Get him, Renoblos. Get him. I know you want in. I know you're raring to go. Come on. Come on, get in there. Oh, God. Whenever Red and Floss are squaring off with Monster on the Zone, they have massive, let me at him, let me at him, hold me back, hold me back, energy. It's like I totally want this fight. You 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 don't you don't know how how strong I am. <laughs> Literally, it's like I, I'm gonna hold hold me back. Hold hold me back. Almadron. No, he's he's not even going past here. He just wanted a break. <laughs> Wait, there's something I need to try. Are you gonna try and launch him off the? Maybe. What? It what didn't it, quite what? work. I mean, it didn't work, but I did put him inside of a cliff. You did put him inside of a cliff. Oh! <laughs> I love that he was just like, I'm going to die. Just finish me. <laughs> He just sort of waited for his end to happen. Allows its user to freely form and shape mud. Apparently that's what the fin does. It's all in the fin. For the scales to attain their dull glow, one must cast aside all desires. It's okay. Apparently if you inhale the vapor from one of his cortex, it has a calming effect. Oh, that's some good Almadron Cortex. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I, I, I love vaping Almadron, apparently. <laughs> Rapid moth, power prolonging, razor sharp, evade window, and spare shot. But the way it looks... Oh, that's very, very cool, isn't it? Look oh, at that. Your, yours is much less bright than mine is. Mine's like full Power Ranger level at this point. And there we have it, everybody. Goss Harag. <laughs> Goss Harag. <laughs> it's the cat leaning out the train. Oh. Right in front of the... <laughs> he wanted a high five from the okay, viewers. Buddy. Gosserag and Albadron, two of the big main rise boys, master ranked and defeated. Next time, the next new monster. Oh. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Hit the bell and consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Until we meet again, a goodbye. Goodbye. Why are you headbutting my ass? <laughs> I don't know. Stop it. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.